and a very warm welcome to all of you watching us out there. I am Professor Total Singh and this is my assistant Kalsi. Kalsi, I just found out our viewer base has expanded dramatically from the time we started the show. Our friends are growing in large numbers. Thank you all for showing so much interest in math for juniors. That's great news, Professor. That means we are becoming quite popular and famous, just like celebrities. Now calm down, Kalsi. We are not celebrities. But we can be if we do or make something really big or large, like the pizza place near my house. What are you talking about, Kalsi? I'm talking about this big event that happened at the pizza place near my house. They made the biggest pizza in the city. That was this big. So many people came to see it, and the best part was that we all got a slice each to taste. It was yummy. Hmm. Of course. How could a pizza fan like you miss an opportunity that big? Must have been a treat for you, wasn't it, Kalsi? You bet it was, Professor. The stretchy white cheese was so. Okay, okay. We get the picture, Kalsi. Now can we get back to the show here, please? Today we are going to learn about large numbers. Large like my pizza? <laughs> now, Kalsi. Do you know why you couldn't count the number of people present at the pizza event? That's because they were large in numbers. So large numbers can't be counted? No, 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 no. You got me wrong there. What I meant was when numbers become very large, it becomes difficult to count them by hand. Oh, so that's why when we see lots of people or things that we can't count by hand, we say they are very large in number. That's right. So how about you giving me an example of a large number? Um, uh, how about population of a country? That will be a very large number. Excellent answer, Kalsi. Talking about population, do you know the current population of India? No, professor. What is it? It's 115 crores. That's a large number. Yes, it is. Come, let's allow Mathematic to tell us more about large numbers and how they are expressed. Large numbers are the numbers that are made up of many digits. For example, the number 1,43,285 is made up of 6 digits. 1, 4, 3, 2, 8 and 5. A place value chart is used to hold numbers. A place value chart is read from left to right, just like reading a book. The place value of a digit of the number depends on its position. For example, in the number 1,43,285, the digit 1 has the place value 1 lakh. 4 has the value of 40,000. 2 and 5 have the values 200 and 5 respectively. In a place value chart, the digits of numbers are placed according to their place values. The digit with the highest place value lies at the leftmost position of the number. So each time we need to show a large number, we just need to add one column to the left. Remember that the added column to the left is always 10 times bigger than the column on its right. The subsequent column to the left of the 10 lakh column is the crores column. Next to that will be 10 crores and so on. Hmm. 10 crores. Professor, how many zeros does 10 crore have? Let me write down 10 crores on paper. Good call, Kelsey. Ones, tens, hundreds, that's three zeros. Lakhs. Kids, 
Are you counting along with him too? Well, Kalsi, I thought you would be faster than that. I'm done, Professor. Eight zeros and ten crore. Right on, Kalsi. Full marks to you. But I expected you to be a bit faster, though. I would have, Professor. But to be sure, I had written ten crores. I had to keep checking the place values. Well, Kalsi, there is a standard way to write the numbers, which makes it easy for us to read. Is there such a way, Professor? Absolutely. Let's find out about it with math magic. Numbers can be expressed in two different forms: expanded form. and standard form in the expanded form a number is expressed as the sum of the place value of its digits in standard form commas are used to separate the position of crores lakhs and thousands commas make it easier to read but have no effect on the value of numbers the first comma says the number of crores second says the number of lakhs and third says the thousands in india we call a six digit number lakh however in many countries like us it is called a hundred thousand in the international system there is only one comma in the six digit number which is placed after the thousands place Lakhs make a crore in the Indian number system. Do we have a crore in the international system? Good question, Kalsi. One crore is equal to ten million, as per the international system, and hundred crores make for one billion in the international system. I wonder how many pizzas I can buy with that much of money. A lifetime supply, Kalsi. Now. Snap out of it and let's move to learn how to carry out arithmetic operations of addition and subtraction on large numbers. Shall we? Addition with carrying. In step one, write the first addend. In step two, write the second addend below the first one, keeping the digit at their proper place. In step three, start adding the digits from the extreme right to the left. If you get ten or more than ten in a column, carry one and add it to the next column. Therefore, after adding addend one and addend two, the result we get is called the sum. Now look at the subtraction with borrowing. In step one. Write the minuend and the subtrahend below it, as before, with all the digits at their proper places. Step two: If the digits in the minuend is smaller than that of the subtrahend, borrow one from the place just to its left, which will be equal to ten. Step three: After subtracting the subtrahend from the minuend, the result we get is called the difference. Actually, borrow and subtraction. Well, yes, you can because you cannot subtract a bigger number from a smaller number, Kelsey. It's like me asking you to give me two slices of pizza when you only have one left. I quickly finish that one slice as well, Professor. I completely believe you on that, Kelsey. You'll do anything for a pizza, but I will tell you something which will stop you for a while. Do you know? We can see probably further than what we think. We can see twinkling tiny stars on a clear night, but they only look tiny. In actuality, they are even bigger than the earth size. Sounds unbelievable, doesn't it? This is because these stars are light years away from us. Up there, These stars come together to form galaxies and the furthest galaxy we can see with the naked eye is the Andromeda galaxy 2.5 million light years away 
although some people can even spot the Triangulum Galaxy some 3.14 million light years away. Now, does anybody know how big the universe is? Some say that it's as big as it is old. That would mean it would make it around 13.7 billion light years big. But as far as we know, that's not quite the whole story. Because space itself is expanding. Taking that into account, the furthest objects we can see in space would be 46.5 billion light years away. And that's just the universe we can see with our telescopes. There could be a lot more beyond that. So technically speaking, nobody really knows how big the universe is. It's now time for a quick recap. In this module, we have learnt that large numbers can be expressed in two forms. One expanded form and two standard form. In expanded form, a number is expressed as sum of place values of its digits. In standard form, a number is separated into groups of digits using commas. In Indian system of numeration, ones, tens, hundreds, thousands and then lakhs and crores are used. Commas are used to mark thousands, lakhs and crores. In the international system of numeration, ones, tens, hundreds, thousands and then millions are being used. Commas are used to mark thousands and millions. Now we leave you to practice what you all have learned today. And we will be back with some more number magic. Till then, you all take care and be good. <laughs>